How to change your life with one decision. I know the first thing you're thinking is, it's impossible to change your life with just one decision. You gotta make multiple amazing, great decisions, have opportunity, have luck, have you know things fall out of the sky and happen for you in order for your life to really be changed. Nothing happens overnight. Nobody's an overnight success. It's actually not true. And it's actually counterintuitive to everything you've ever thought because your life can be changed with a single decision. I'm gonna explain how, just stay with me for the whole video. You see, whenever we have a goal in mind, a long-term goal, right? I want to be a millionaire. I wanna be a billionaire. I want to make music and have my music be successful. I wanna be a content creator. I wanna be a filmmaker. I wanna be a director. I wanna be a writer. I want to be a chef. Whatever it is that you desire, whatever it is that you want for your life, what you would consider happiness, we always think of the ultimate goal, right? So what I, in my life, if I want to be a chef, I want to be working in Gordon Ramsay's kitchen, or I want to own my own restaurant that's super successful in downtown, and I got hundreds of thousands of people coming to my restaurant and enjoying my food, and it's so amazing that my life is so amazing. That's great. And it's great that you can envision the ultimate goal because that is the first step, right? But when we talk about making the first decision to make your life, we're always thinking about the ultimate goal and how many things have to go into the ultimate goal, how many decisions have to go into the ultimate goal. And so a lot of times what happens is <laughs> we play in our minds, and I've done this too, so do, I'm in the same boat as you. We play in our minds what it would take, all the things that would have to happen in order for us to reach our goal. Like, so for example, if I wanna be a chef, right? I sit there and I imagine, oh my God, like what it would be like to own a restaurant. And I think about, oh well, I would start by posting my food online and then I would do deliveries or do catering for personal, for friends or family and it would do so well that my page would blow up and then I'd create like a food truck and then in my food truck I'd like be parked downtown and every night there would be like a huge massive line and we'd sell out every single night and then the food truck would turn into like this really successful grand opening of a, of a restaurant and then when I opened the restaurant I cut the ribbon and I cut the ribbon and it's like the start of something brand new and I have all these amazing customers and there's a line out the door and we sell out of everything every single night and everything's so amazing and I'm this amazing awesome five-star restaurant chef right and we play all of that in our mind we play in every decision every choice that has to get made everything that has to go right every opportunity we have to come across in order to get to that point in our lives and then we feel like we've accomplished it because we feel like we went through the um, experience of making those decisions, even though we actually haven't made those decisions, right? And we feel like we've lived that life, even though we actually haven't done anything, right? Um, and the stressful part about that, because a lot of people, you know, part of the reason you're watching this video is because I'm sure you wanna know how to change your life. And so a lot of times where we get stuck is in figuring out, okay, how can I take steps forward? And the overwhelming part is feeling like, oh, you know, there's so much I have to learn and do in order to get to my ultimate goal. It's like a thousand decisions, it's like a hundred decisions, so many decisions, so many choices, so many options. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to start. And you get overwhelmed with the idea that there is so much that has to go um, into your perfect ultimate goal that you get stressed out thinking about actually having to go out and accomplish that goal, right? And that's where we set ourselves back because rather than thinking about the smallest possible decision, we're thinking about all the decisions we're gonna have to make ahead of that, right? Which kind of brings me to the next point, which is we psych ourselves out by coming up with not necessarily excuses, but coming up with all these things that can go wrong and how they are preventing us from actually making the decision to start or making the first smallest decision to go, right? Because it's like, oh, if I wanna become a chef, well, I've gotta get a food truck. And if I'm gonna get a food truck, food trucks are uh, like $10,000 to rent a month. 
and if I'm gonna rent a food truck for this amount of month, how am I gonna get the money? And my credit card right now is already maxed out at $3,000, so I don't even have enough money to rent out the food truck, and if I'm gonna rent out the food truck, then you know the chicken prices are gonna be so much more than they are right now, and how am I gonna balance that? I don't even have any employees to work the, the food truck at night because I have a ship. And it's like, we think you haven't even made the first decision to like create a food page. You haven't even made the first decision to like cater for your mom's birthday next week to, so that you can actually get some content out there and make people aware of the fact that you are an up and coming chef or you desire to be a chef. You haven't even made people aware of, of the fact that you make food or your desire to be a chef. And you're already concerned about how you're gonna spend $10,000 a month on a food truck and how you're gonna pay off your credit card. And you allow that to stop you from making the first decision. Because yes, that might be a decision that you have to make along the road, but that's not the decision you have to make right now in order to get started, right? That's not the decision you have to make right now in order to move one step forward. The decision you have to make right now is, okay, I want to be a chef. I need to get my name out there. What are some ways I can cater, make food for people I know or friends or family so I can begin getting my name out there? What am I even going to cook? Do I know what I like to cook? What am I good at cooking? Let me at least get some opinions on what people like me to cook or what I'm good at or what makes me a unique chef, right? to decide what cuisine I'm going to go in, what options I'm going to go in. There's so many different genres of food from so many different countries. What am I gonna cook? What am I gonna offer to the world in terms of food? You haven't even thought of that yet. And you're thinking about the $10,000 food truck that you're gonna rent out one year from now when you're a huge success, right? And a lot of times we psych ourselves out because we're thinking about these future decisions and these hundreds of future decisions we're gonna make. And we'd be like, oh, I don't have a solution to that problem right now. Right? This decision that I would make a year down the line, I don't have a solution to it right now. So why even bother trying to do what I need to do? Why even bother taking the first step? Because I don't have this decision or choice solved yet. I haven't crossed this bridge yet, so I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get to this point. So why even bother with the whole thing? Why even bother getting started, right? And that's how we think. And a lot of times that's what's stopping us from making the first step to change our lives. Because part of changing your life is pursuing your purpose, and I'll talk about how to find your purpose in another video. And part of finding your purpose and pursuing your purpose, right, you're going to have to make tough decisions. But you have to understand those tough decisions will be made when it's time to make those tough decisions, right? You don't have to think about all the tough decisions you have to make three years and down the line. You just have to think about the tough decision you have to make right now, right? and make that decision, make that choice, right? Decide how you're gonna proceed. The reality of it is, if you want a life worth living, right? If you want your dream life, if you wanna be successful, if you want happiness out of life, to be able to do whatever it is you wanna do that makes you happy, that brings you joy, there are gonna come challenges along the way. I'm sorry to tell you, I'm sorry to tell you, I don't know if I'm gonna be the first person to ever tell you this or share this information with you, but newsflash, if you want success, if you want happiness in life, there will be obstacles, there will be challenges. Things are not gonna fall out of the sky. Even opportunities don't fall out of the sky. It doesn't work like that. The people that you think are overnight successes have spent years, sometimes decades, investing into their craft and themselves and perfecting and mastering whatever it is they're trying to be good at just for them they get a single opportunity that takes them to, to the stratosphere like i want you to understand overnight success is not a thing overnight success even in itself is a combination of a lot of hard work consistency determination without recognition without spotlight without uh, 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 people congratulating you and praising you and telling you how amazing you are, only for you to get a single opportunity that takes, changes your life forever. But it doesn't mean that it didn't require work. It doesn't mean that it didn't require consistency. It doesn't mean it didn't require effort. It doesn't mean that they didn't have obstacles 
You will have obstacles on your way to success. You will have obstacles on your way to happiness. You will have obstacles on your way to your dream life. I don't care if your dream life consists of having your dream relationship, your dream husband, your dream wife, your dream job, your dream career, financial freedom, whatever your dream is, you will have obstacles in order to get that. It's the reality. It, like, if you're expecting me to tell you how to change your life in a way that doesn't require you to face obstacles, well, you might as well turn off the video, go back to sleep. Turn off the video, just keep scrolling on Instagram, just keep scrolling on Twitter, keep scrolling on TikTok, and never actually do anything. If you think your life should be handed to you without obstacles or challenges, there will be challenges. You're going to have to figure out solutions to your problems. Every person on this planet Earth who is successful, I don't care if they started off rich, I don't care if they started off poor, I don't care if they started off middle class. If they were going to be successful, there are obstacles they are going to have to face, challenges they are going to have to face, and there are things in their life, whether it be financial, mental, emotional, uh, uh, in relationships with family members, they are, there are obstacles they are gonna face and challenges they are gonna face that they must overcome. You must get into the habit of being solution-based and understanding that in order to get your life that you want, you're gonna have to learn how to be a problem solver. That's how you get freedom. That's how you get to where you wanna be in life, is by being a problem solver. Because a problem solver is gonna understand that, yeah, my, my journey is gonna come with challenges, my journey is gonna come with obstacles. In the presence of those challenges and obstacles, I am gonna have choices to make. And as a problem solver, it is on me to make the right choice. I have to analyze my, my options. I have to take stock of my resources. I have to look at what opportunities I might have or not have, what advantages I might have or not have. And I've gotta make something happen. You gotta make a choice for things to move forward. If you just sit there and say, oh, well, I don't wanna make any choice. I'm too, too scared to make a choice. I don't wanna say anything. I don't wanna do anything because anything I do is gonna be wrong. Well, nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna change. You came here because you wanna know how your life can be changed. You didn't come here because you wanna know how your life can be the same. If you don't do anything, your life will be the same. The only way for your life to change, the only way for your life to get better, the only way for your life to be and turn into what you want it to be is for you to make decisions. Are you understanding what I'm saying to you? You understand what I'm putting down right now? You understand what I'm communicating to you? You must get in the habit of making decisions and becoming a problem solver. You don't have to make every decision that you'll ever make for the rest of your life in order to be successful. You don't gotta make every decision in one moment. You don't gotta have the answer to every problem in one second. Success is not about answering all your problems and solving every problem in the second that you wanna be successful. It's not about that. It's about identifying the first obstacle and understanding how do I solve this problem? How do I overcome this obstacle? How do I get through this challenge? Everything is a challenge. Life is a challenge. You're gonna have to figure things out along the way and if you don't get in the habit of understanding that life is gonna come with challenges and embracing the fact that there are challenges and you're gonna to have to figure things out. If you're gonna shy away from that or that's gonna be something that deters you from, from doing things or making decisions or moving forward, well, you're, you don't even deserve to have the life that you want. You don't deserve it, you don't even want it bad enough. If you think things should be handed to you or your life should come without challenges, even if those challenges are indirect to whatever it is you're trying to chase. If I'm trying to become a chef and I'm cooking food and I have a really toxic relationship going on, 
I might be like, oh well, this is this woe is me. Like I'm I'm trying to prepare this big. I have this big meal to cater for tomorrow. This big huge wedding event, and I'm all by myself. My staff is called in sick, and I gotta cook this food by myself. And I was up last night so late with my boyfriend talking on the phone, and I can't I can't I can't do this anymore. Like I don't, I just I'm so stressed out. Who cares? Who cares? Nobody cares. Be a problem solver. Make choices. Understand that your emotions are gonna come and go. But when you look back on the choices you made and the decisions you made, you'll be happy that you didn't allow your emotions to control your decisions. Because you don't have to make a thousand decisions. You only have to make one decision to change your life. And that's the point I'm trying to teach you. Is that to change, to change your life, it doesn't require you to make a thousand decisions that you're going to make five years down the line. It only requires you to make the first decision in order to move forward and take one step forward onto the journey of whatever you consider success to be in your life in any aspect, relationships, love, family, career, whatever it is. You only have to make one decision at a time. You only have to solve one problem at a time. When you solve that problem, you move forward, right? There can be sometimes, depending on how, um, of, you know, sometimes you'll accomplish things, you can, you know, spend some time dwelling on the fact that, wow, look how far I've come, look how amazing things are, and then you move forward there will be new problems to solve. There will never stop being problems for you to solve. There will never stop being decisions for you to make. Get out of the habit of feeling like, I want my life to get to a point where I no longer have to solve problems. I no longer have to make decisions. Life will just come to me and be handed to me. This is where things, I'm gonna say something, this is where Things get toxic when it comes to spirituality and, oh, I don't chase, I attract. That's great in theory. But part of attracting is also doing, is also taking action. Attracting is not just about sitting here, I'm just gonna look pretty and um, things are gonna happen for me. And I won't actually have to do anything. That's not how life works. And you will be severely disappointed in life and how it turns out for you if you think you don't actually have to put in any effort or move forward in any particular direction make decisions solve problems in order to attract what you want out of life it will not your dream life i want you to listen very closely listen very closely because this is going to be like a splash of cold water your dream life is not going to fall out of the sky i'm going to say it one more time in case you missed it, it came out weird. I'm not speaking English. My English is a little bit too bad. My, my accent is a little bit too thick. Whatever it may be, I'm going to say it one more time. Your dream life is not going to fall out of the sky. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. I don't know if that, I don't know if that, I don't know if that hurts your feelings. I don't know if that makes you feel queasy. I don't know if that shattered your dreams. But that's not how it works. You can't just sit on your couch and talk about, oh, I don't chase, I attract. You know, I think of things are gonna happen to me. And just sit on your couch. Your dream life's not gonna come knocking at the door and be like, oh, here, here you go. It's all for you. You attracted it. You manifested it so it exists here now. I'm not saying manifestation isn't real, but that doesn't mean that manifestation happens without you actually having to put forward effort and take action. That's not what manifestation is about. Manifestation isn't about sitting on your couch and hoping good things are gonna happen to you. Like, and I really want you to take that in. You're going to have to solve problems. You're going to have to make decisions. That's good. You don't have to focus on making a thousand decisions. Focus on the smallest decision that's in front of you. I want to become a chef. Okay, what's the first thing I can cook? 
What am I good at cooking? What do I even enjoy cooking? The smallest decision. Okay, I enjoy cooking Jamaican food. All right, what's my favorite Jamaican dish? I love making Jamaican patties from scratch. Cool. Let me go to the store or look up on YouTube what is the best Jamaican patty recipe. Cool. This is a great Jamaican patty recipe. What ingredients are required for the Jamaican patty recipe? You see how I'm going in chronological order and not focusing on the 10,000 decision. I'm focusing on the next decision. Right? What is the Jamaican patty recipe? Okay, do I have any of those ingredients in the house already? I have salt, I have uh, this spice, I have that spice, I have curry. Okay, but I don't have uh, onions. I don't have chili powder. I don't have whatever it may be. I don't have yeast. I, okay, now my next decision, I need to go to the store and gather those ingredients. Let me make a list of those ingredients. Okay, I make a list of those ingredients. What store am I going to go to to purchase those ingredients based on my budget, based on what I'm about to cook, based on the quantity I'm about to cook, and based on who I'm gonna be cooking it for? I go to the store. What brand of each of these items am I gonna choose? Do I want mixed vegetables? Do I want raw vegetables? Do I want them frozen? Do I want this? Do I want this? Do I want Heinz chili paste? Do I want this chili paste? Only, you only have to focus on the next decision in order to change your life. You come back, you make the Jamaican patties. Oh, all of a sudden you're making the Jamaican patties and you realize, oh, I could throw this little piece of spice, this piece of oil, this piece of whatever to make it unique to me. And all of a sudden you've got this unique creation. You share it with your mom. You share it with your brother. You share it with your sister. You share it with your boyfriend, your girlfriend. They take a bite of it. They're like, oh my God. You added this like sweet and salty flavor to the Jamaican patty. And it's like, it's almost like you put General Tao chicken in the Jamaican patty. This is like a whole new creation. You gotta sell this. This is the best thing I've ever had. Oh my God, I just made something that people love. Let me make a video of me making it. Let me share with my friends. Let me take it to my friend's place. Get a video of them eating it, share it on social media. Let me start putting it on TikTok, making content about I make these General Tao chicken Jamaican patties. Right? You don't have to focus on the food truck that you're gonna make and the restaurant that you're gonna open in downtown five years from now. You just have to make the next decision. That's all you have to focus on. And over time, as you continuously make the next decision, and the next decision, and the next decision. They don't have to be huge decisions. Not every decision has to be a corporate merger for $500 million. The next decision can just be what grocery store you're gonna go to to get your ingredients for your Jamaican patty. It really can be. And those small decisions, overcoming those small obstacles, will eventually lead to the culmination of something great, something bigger. The opportunity that changes your life, right? The financial freedom that, that, that changes your life, that gives you happiness. The relationship that brings you happiness and joy and love for an eternity, right? It can come and it will come. And it only requires one decision at a time. It doesn't require 10 doesn't require 20, doesn't require 10,000. You don't gotta think a year from now, you don't gotta think five years from now, just think about today. You see how they say living in the moment? When it comes to building success, building the life that you want, getting happiness, don't focus on 10 years from now. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a 10 year plan or a 10 year goal, you know, or an ultimate goal that you want to reach. I'm not saying that. Have your vision, have your goals, have your long-term goals, but don't allow yourself to be stressed out by your 10-year plan that you don't know how to make decisions for today. Your focus, right, your energy should be put towards the small decisions that you're making today. 
and you only have to make one of them at a time in order to change your life.